everyone. Bobby the bus is visiting the garage today. He needs a wash. Again! He gets very mucky. Bobby needs cleaning in the morning. Bobby needs cleaning in the afternoon. Bobby even needs cleaning at night time. Every morning, Bobby has to refuel with dirty diesel to power his engine. <coughs> Ew! Bobby's fuel smells terrible. It's so dirty. Here comes Evie, the electric car. She doesn't have any problems with dirty diesel. She's lovely. Bobby wishes he could be as quiet and clean as Evie. Evie charges up her batteries using clean energy from the sun. Hmm, I wonder. Hey Bobby, how would you like to get rid of your dirty old diesel engine and run on clean electricity instead? It's a big job, but I think the mechanicals are up for it. Let's get you into the garage and get started. Drive onto the platform and let's see what we can see. What do we need to do to make you run electrically? Go, go mechanicals! The mechs take Bobby's engine out. Fit motors to his wheels. Install a brand new charging port. There! Let's see how that feels. Oh no! Bobby's wheels won't go. Now what have we done wrong? Of course! He needs some batteries to power him along. Energy from the sun goes into the solar panels on the garage roof. That energy travels through our charger into the batteries on an electric vehicle like Evie. Evie stores the energy in her batteries and that powers the motors in her wheels. It takes a lot of energy to power a bus, so Bobby's new batteries are very big and very heavy. Where should the mechanicals put the batteries, I wonder? How about at the back? where we took the old engine out. There's lots of room there. Oh dear, that's no good. The batteries are too heavy to all go at the back of the bus. Bobby's done a wheelie. How about we spread them out? Inside Bobby. The mechanicals might need to clear a bit of space first though. Um, mechanicals. I know you needed to make space for the batteries, but I didn't mean take all the seats out. Where are the passengers going to sit now? On the roof? Hold on a minute. On. The. Roof. Of course. Put those seats back in. I've had an idea. The best place for the batteries is up on the roof. Bobby stays balanced. There's still room for all his passengers inside and the air going over the roof helps to keep the batteries cool and working properly. Let's install a cover over the batteries to protect them from bad weather. Perfect! Now Bobby's ready to roll. Let's get those batteries fully charged. One percent, two percent, three percent. Hmm, this charger is far too slow. Bobby has a giant battery pack, far bigger than Evie's. We need to make this electric charger into a supercharger. Let's try again. Huh, they don't seem to have made this charger any faster at all. What's going on? Uh-oh, it looks like the mechanicals have supercharged the wrong charger. Blue Mechanicals charger is going crazy. 
Look at those numbers go! It looks like Blue Mechanical's got lots of extra energy to use up. Look at him go! Now that Blue Mechanical has helped to supercharge the charger, we should be able to charge Bobby's batteries at record speeds. It's working! Look at those numbers go! 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent! Bobby is fully charged. Well done, Mechanicals! Phew! It's hot today. The Mechanicals have been working very hard, fixing up broken vehicles. I think they deserve a treat to help them cool down. Just in time, here comes Vicky the ice cream van. Hello Vicky! Five vanilla ice creams please! With sprinkles and a flake. Yuck! Oh dear, that's not right. This ice cream is all warm and melted. And look! Vicky, there's a puddle of water underneath you. Come on inside the garage. I have a feeling that your freezer might be broken. Let's get the Mechanicals to take a look at you. Go, go Mechanicals! It seems as if your freezer's gone a little funny. The compressor's stopped working and that's made your ice cream runny. We'll fit a new one to make the freezer cool. There, you're all fixed up now. We used the right tool. We need to make more ice cream to replace the melted batch. Let's add all the ingredients to Vicky's mixing hatch. We need some milk and sugar and don't forget the cream. Add eggs, some vanilla, whisk them up in your machine. Then let the freezer do its work to cool the mixture down. Vicky the ice cream van, the coolest truck in town. Right, let's try that again. Five vanilla ice creams please, with sprinkles and a flake. One, two, three, four, five. Chelsea the cherry pickers helping me and the mechanicals to decorate the town, ready for the big truck parade this afternoon. My truck friends are meeting up at Gecko's garage to get ready for the parade. Let's go visit them. Wow! There's lots of big trucks here for the parade. But where's Florence the forklift? I thought she was joining us. Oh, there you are, Florence. I couldn't see you behind Fiona the fire truck. Hmm, I think this might be a problem during the parade. We want to make sure that all of the trucks can be seen by everyone. I think we should parade through the town in size order. 
with the smallest truck at the front and the largest at the back. This is no good at all. The trucks are all jumbled up. We need the smallest truck on the left. That's you, Florence. And we need the biggest truck on the right. That's you, George. Who's the second smallest vehicle after Florence? It's difficult to pick. Tilly, maybe? Or Ryan? No, it's our road roller, Rick. Now, out of Tilly and Chelsea, who would you say is smaller? Tilly's hook makes her look tall, but Chelsea's arm can go taller. There, just move around a bit and we have our smallest four. But now things get tricky, as it's time to sort some more. Max is big, but he'd be hidden by Ryan's arm and wrecking ball. But Fiona's even bigger. She's like a huge red wall. We'll put Max five and Ryan six. Let's get them into line with Fiona number seven. Now we need an eight and nine. Here are our last few vehicles. Next biggest is Bobby the bus. Then it's Larry the large lorry. Because George is enormous. So Bobby's eighth and Larry ninth. Which makes giant George the last. Now every vehicle will be seen when the parade goes past. Fantastic! Everyone is sorted into size order and ready for the parade. Let's go everyone, the crowd will be waiting. Florence the forklift, Rick the road roller, Tilly the tow truck, Chelsea the cherry picker, Max the monster truck, Ryan the wrecking ball crane, Fiona the fire truck, Bobby the bus, Larry the lorry, and George the giant dump truck. Whoa, what's happened? We've stopped. Oh, now I can see what's happened. Florence has broken down. And because everyone's in a line, Tilly can't get to the front to help out. Rick the road roller is blocking the way. What are we going to do? This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, Helen! Hello, Helen. Are we glad to see you? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Right, Florence. I think this is a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Poor Florence. With that wonky wheel, we've really been delayed. But I'll get Helen to give us a lift to the end of the parade. Poor Florence has missed most of the parade. They've had to carry on without her. We'll have to drop her at the back of the line. Oh dear, this is no good at all. Nobody will notice tiny Florence behind giant George. And all she can see is George's back. This won't do at all. But I've got an idea. Hold on, Florence. 
let's get you a better view. Hello again, Florence. Welcome to the best seat in the house. Now Florence is the highest in the parade. She can see everything from up here, and everyone can see her. Fantastic. Shall we go inside and put Bobby on the turntable so that we can take a closer look at him? Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Bobby's wheels. He wouldn't take his passengers very far without these. They go round and round, just like in the Wheels on the Bus song. Bobby's sign. Bobby has a sign that can change to tell passengers where he's going. It helps passengers catch the right bus. Bobby's wipers. These keep his windscreen clear of rain and dirt and bugs. So his driver can see where they're going. Bobby's headlights. Bobby needs powerful lights for driving at night time. They help him see the road and help other vehicles to see him. Bobby's horn. Bobby's horn is very loud. He can sound his horn in an emergency to make sure other vehicles know he's there. Bobby's doors. Bobby has a special set of doors for his passengers so that they can get on and off the bus easily. Bobby's engine. Buses are heavy and need a powerful engine to turn the wheels. Bobby's rear lights. Bobby has red lights at the back so that other vehicles can see him in the dark and also to let them know when he's slowing down to stop. Welcome to the stadium, where Max the Monster Truck is attempting a new world record for monster truck jumping. Max is going to attempt to jump over 10 vehicles, and all his friends have come along to help out. Make the first jump, Max, as fast as you like, jumping over Millie the Motorbike. One. He's so good at jumping, this truck will go far. High over Millie and Sophie Sports Car. Two. Things are getting tense. There's no time to relax. He jumped Millie and Sophie and Tony the taxi. Yes, Max. Three. Max is jumping so well that he's in with a chance. Over Millie, Soph, Tony and Amber Ambulance. Four. Max is so brave, his stunts are very clever. But can he jump over our new tractor, Trevor? Uh-oh. Max has jumped five vehicles, but I think he's damaged something. We'd better check Max over before he carries on. Go, go, Mechanicals! We'll check your suspension out and fix that nasty scratch. There, all ready to carry on. I can't bear to look. The gap's getting bigger. Can he clear all these vehicles? Plus, Danny the Digger? Six. You can do it, Max. I'm wishing you good luck. Let's watch you jump, Rebecca, the recycling truck. 
seven. That's surely too many. Max is going to get stuck. Can he really leap Fiona the red fire truck? Eight. He'll manage this ninth jump with no kind of fuss. Watch as he leaps over Bobby the bus. Nine. He can't jump them all. Surely not. I'm so sorry. Not a motorbike, two cars, all those trucks and a lorry. He's backing right up, revs his engine, and then, look at him go! He's jumped over all ten! Well done, Max. You did it! I wasn't so sure you could do it, but you jumped over ten vehicles and set a new record. Here come some of our smaller vehicle friends. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you help me count all the vehicles whilst they do their important jobs? Vicky the ice cream van is number one, making sure everyone at the beach has fun. Sid the skid loader is number two. There's a hundred and one different things he can do. Trevor the tractor is number three. Ploughing the fields. And sowing the seed. Rick the road roller is number four. He can squash anything left on the floor. Tony the taxi is number five. He'll take you wherever you need to drive. Number six is Amber, a real go-getter. Takes people to the hospital so they can get better. Seven is Mia the mini digger. Like her brother Danny, only he's a lot bigger. Sophie the sports car is number eight. She loves to drive fast and she just can't wait. Florence the forklift is truck number nine, fetching and carrying all of the time. Number ten is Millie. She must be the last. The police bike checks nobody's driving too fast. Are you ready to count them one more time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten helpful vehicles. Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia, it's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky, mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the Fabulous Forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader, loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle 4 won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number 5, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger, with his brand new Extra Scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck. Always tips stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things. Always has a smashing time. It's Ryan, the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh! Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go, Mechanicals! Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Hello, Vicky. Thanks for coming to visit us today. Let's go inside the garage and put Vicky on the turntable so we can take a closer look at her. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Vicky turn. Giant ice cream cone. Vicky has a giant plastic ice cream cone on her roof so that customers can spot her from the other end of the beach. Ice cream freezer. Vicky has a special freezer that can cool down the liquid ice cream really quickly so it's ready to serve. Musical chime. 
when Vicky is driving around, she plays a tune to let customers know she is on her way. Serving hatch. This is closed when Vicky's driving around. But when she stops, the hatch opens so that she can serve ice cream to her customers. Ice cream machine. Most ice cream vans have a person inside to make and serve the ice creams, but behind her hatch, Vicky has a special robot ice cream machine that serves delicious ice creams to her customers. Lolly Freezer For those who don't like ice cream or can't eat dairy, Vicky has another freezer packed with all sorts of colourful lollies. They look yummy! Children Crossing Sign Vicky has a special sign on the back that says Children Crossing. This warns other vehicles to be extra careful and to watch out for children in the road. You must never run into the road. Always make sure that your parent or grown-up holds your hand and helps you to get to the ice cream van safely. Here come our biggest friends. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Can you help me count the trucks whilst they do their important jobs? Oscar the old bus is number one. Slow and steady, but he gets the job done. Larry the lorry is number two. Perhaps he's got a parcel for you. Fiona the fire truck is number three. Spraying water on a flaming tree. Celia the cement mixer is number four. She churns and churns and churns some more. Five is Dylan with a heavy load, helping to build this tarmac road. Six is Bobby, he's doing fine. Dropping off passengers, rain or shine. Seven is Helen, with her rotor blades turning. What a long list of numbers we're learning. Giant George is number eight. He's a real heavy weight. Caroline the crane is number nine, swinging the hook at the end of her line. Rebecca the recycling truck is number 10, collecting old things to use again. Are you ready to count them one more time? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Have you? Bobby was supposed to be taking us back to the garage half an hour ago, but there's no sign of him. <laughs> it's so cold today, and Blue Mechanical forgot to bring his hat, scarf, and mittens. Oh no, there's Bobby. It looks like he's stuck in the snow. He can't get out of that snow drift and he looks very cold. That can't be good for his batteries. Just like us, 
Bobby the Bus doesn't feel very well if he's too hot or too cold. His batteries work best when they are warm. Bobby's batteries can't give his wheels enough power when it's as cold as this. And his wheels don't have enough grip on the icy road. We need to help him right away. Come in, Tilly. I'm sending you Bobby's location now. Please can you come and rescue him from a snow drift? Make sure you put your snow chains on your tyres. The weather is terrible out here. Here comes trusty Tilly to ease poor Bobby's pains with her super grippy tyres and sturdy snow chains. She's so strong and steady, she doesn't make a fuss, even when she's towing a big electric bus. I don't think Blue Mechanical's feeling very well either. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you. Let's head back to the garage to warm up. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Poor Bobby's wheels were really stuck. He couldn't make them go. And his batteries don't work so well under all that ice and snow. Now Tilly's brought him back here out of the winter storm. We need those kind mechanicals to make poor Bobby warm. Go, go, Mechanicals! I don't think that little hairdryer will melt this cold snow shower. I think we need something with a little bit more power. That heater's more like it. He'll soon be warm and dried. But how can we keep Bobby's batteries warm? when he's back outside. Ah, when we go out into the cold, we wear a winter hat. So they're knitting one for Bobby. Why didn't I think of that? Bobby can stay with us for now to keep warm overnight. He can go out in the morning as soon as it gets light. Good old Trevor the tractor. He's spending the evening clearing the snow from the roads with his snow plough. The snow is melting. Trevor has helped to clear the roads. And Bobby has his new hat to keep him warm. He's off to do his job and pick up some passengers. I'm glad we could get Bobby warm again. Remember to always wear your coat, hat and gloves when you go outside in the winter just like me and the Mechanicals. Hang on a minute. What happened to poor old Blue Mechanical? Ah, there he is. Phew! Bye!